All right. This is our third and final question from the uh, National Association of EMS Educators uh, virtual conference, uh, day number three. Let's take a look at this question. I'll get right into it. A 54-year-old male complains of left-sided chest pain. He tells you it started an hour ago. It's been constantly four of 10. He denies past medical history. He has a 38-pack year smoking history. He auscultate fine crackles in his lower lungs. His vital signs, pulse of 94, respiratory rate of 16, blood pressure 142 and 96. He's setting at 96% on room air. You should suspect. There's a lot to say about this uh, question. The first thing I'll say is, is that I believe that we are uh, still following the new uh, concept the National Registry is using of one correct answer. Now, for the record, I think some of the reason that that best answer uh, thing was removed uh, on top of, you know, psychometric issues. I think people always kind of thought that was code for trickery. Uh, and quite frankly, I never believed the registry was going to do that. Um, but they've tried to clean this up and that's fine. But I have to say that there are a lot of things that make a question easy or difficult. And quite frankly, one correct answer isn't going to be the thing that's going to make a question easier. One of the things that makes a question difficult is having good distractors. And that's one thing the National Registry is not going to change. So I think that this uh, question uh, shows, just if you look at the screen here, that we had about half the people at the booth choose the correct answer at our virtual booth, but half didn't. And that shows that that makes a, a big difference. Now, that's not the only part of this question. There are a couple parts of this question when we're teaching our students, when we're taking tests ourselves. Um, there's concepts like anchoring. Students will see one thing in the stem of the question that makes them say, oh, it's this. So if we were to break this down, there's a lot of information in this question, quite frankly. Uh, basically, it is a relatively sudden onset of four out of 10 chest pain. Um, denies history, and he got a, a, a you know a significant pack year smoking history, and he has fine crackles in his lower lungs. Well, if we look at this, we had 18% of the people choose lung cancer, and quite frankly, we had 18% of the people choose emphysema. Here's the problem with this: nowhere in that stem does it say that he has difficulty breathing. Nowhere. So what we did is we looked at this and said, he's got a smoking history. And I think a lot of people looked at that and said, oh, I've got to really go towards that because the lung sounds are crackles. I'm not sure that's going to necessarily match with our lung cancer and, or emphysema um, as, as, the, as the correct choice in this. Now, what we did, I think, in this case, people who chose that and students who do this, they read it quickly. They look at these things and they, they can't sort stuff out, right? The guy's 54. He has no past medical history. Now, great. So maybe people don't go to the doctor and his lung cancer is very advanced or his emphysema has been undiagnosed. But how often does that happen with a, with a 54-year-old guy? Those just aren't good answers. This is a sudden onset of somebody with no past medical history get past lung cancer, get past emphysema. Now, you have chest pain. And angina, even though it says uh, Prinz metals angina, and acute myocardial infarction um, are the choices that appear to have the most relevance. Now, Prinz metals angina is generally a coronary artery vasospasm. It's an atypical angina that often happens at rest as opposed uh, to exertion. Sometimes there'll be something in here that the registry or anybody writes a good test will put something in that's choosable. The word angin is there. Gee, I've never heard of it before. You know, a weaker student may choose that one because it sounds good. But choosing something you don't know isn't always the best answer. And that leaves the one that about half the people chose, the, the, the choice of acute myocardial infarction. Now let's go back and look at the question again and see how it's not that far out of the question. Left side of chest pain, that's fair game in an MI. Started an hour ago, 
right? So it is um, a sudden onset. Four out of 10 is good. Fine crackles in his lower lungs, okay? If it walks like a duck and it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, if we took out, he has a 38 pack year smoking history in that, would the lung choices even come into play anymore? In this case, what's it there for? Well, it's a risk factor for an MI. But it also shows that it also shows that people can sort out the most important information. And before anybody says, well, that this is confusing or this is, you know what? This is what we do with patients. Chest pain, sudden onset, crackles in his lungs, risk factor of a smoking history, 54 year old guy. I don't care if you call us a correct answer or a best answer, you know, questions that make students piece things together that are fair, are fair game. They're just more challenging. So I thought this was a really great question to end with. The first couple we gave had you know, good teaching points we wanted to make. This one, I think, wrapped it all up. So uh, my name is Dan uh, from uh, Limmer Education. Um, as we end all these with lots of ways to get a hold of us, uh, Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, of course, you can email us. And as always, you can go to limmereducation.com and get a lot of information about us and our products. What we do is help you teach better and help your students pass the test. Thanks for coming by.